well, first, let's hit the record button so I don't forget. And then uh, play some fucking Morrowind, shall we? Hello to the YouTubes and things. We're slowly but surely trying to make our way through the main quest line of Morrowind. We're making some progress now. Um, so that's exciting. Those things look like they were born to suck dick, but not in a good way. <laughs> like... <laughs> Did you see the fucking mouths on them, dude? They were like they were so fucking with the like big circle mouths and just I don't know, man. Look, don't judge me. It's fine. Uh, why do we have a torch out? We should probably put the torch away also. Oh, that's right. We got we contracted Corpus because we killed the dude um, and nothing we do can heal it because it's deadly. So now we have to go figure out a way to heal it. Um... I kind of sort of remember what's going on. Kind of. Not really, but a little bit. Um, at least it doesn't affect our agility. <laughs> it affects, like, everything else, though. Personality, speed, willpower, intelligence. Oh, no, our strength is fine. It doesn't affect our strength either. That's good. So we're fine. We could just beat the game. It's only one point. It probably gets worse over time, though, I'd imagine. The real question is... Where are we going? Um, I remember it told us to go somewhere. Um, let's go to Lord Dagoth and the Citadel on Red Mountain and make my submission. Could we just go there and, like, kill him now? Is that an option to win the game? Like, if we just fucking go and murder this dude, do we just win? Do we even need to do anything else? I don't know. Um, let's go talk... The homeboy. I don't remember his name, but guy who's been giving us like missions. Cause I imagine like if we tell him, hey, we have Corpus, he's probably gonna like send us somewhere to do something or whatever. Right? I mean for something, I'm sure. Um Ooh, we have a dwarven halberd. Poke. 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 Okay, we're not good with that weapon. The j oh, the Jinx Sword. I remember the Jinx Sword. The Jinx Sword is the, like, paralyzing sword, right? Yeah, that one's actually pretty cool. Cool. Fishing pole. <laughs> the hammer. Demon Tonto. Okay. So I want... Demon Tonto is my main weapon. Jinx Sword is, like, a somewhat backup thing. I remember. We're good. All right. Um, what's his name? Is it like Ky Kyrus? Cairo? I don't remember, man. I don't even remember how to get there exactly. What's like the closest? Probably Aldrun. Aldera. I think Aldrun has a, a thing we can go to. A Silt Strider. That we can get back a little more quickly. I think. I don't remember for sure, but... I have no idea. I keep meaning to, like... Watch or look up a little bit about the game. Just so I have some idea of what's going on. But I keep forgetting to do it. I did watch a speedrun of the game, but it was like... You know, go straight to the end, kill the boss. Okay, now we're done. <laughs> sort of speedrun, you know? So it really wasn't informative at all. I, it's other than the fact that we go to a place and kill a dude. I, I still have no idea what the hell is going on in the game. Um, that's it. I just I just have no fucking clue. Big surprise there, I know. Oh, good. We're also having troubles with Twitch tonight, I see. Is it my internet or is it Twitch? Man, Twitch has been doing so well recently. We haven't been having like any issues with connection or anything. But today, Twitch is deciding, fuck you, I guess. Okay. Make sure it's not my internet. It's usually not. It's almost always a problem on Twitch's end. <laughs> but, hey, well, my download speed's fucking great. It's definitely not my download. <laughs> that doesn't really apply here anyways. I'm just double checking my upload speed, make sure everything's okay. But I've got a, a sneaking suspicion that it's 
once again, Twitch having the issues. Yeah. Nope. I have like five times, six times the speed that I need for the stream. So, okay. We'll just keep going and hope, uh, hope it doesn't get too bad then. That's all we can really do. Oh, bird. I'm tempted to kill bird. What are you? Oh, you're not nice. We can just kill you with our normal our normal pokey stick, right? We don't need to bring out the big guns for this, maybe. There we go. <laughs> I wasn't sure for a second. I thought we might need to conjure up a weapon. These things we might actually want to. Come on. Just die, please. Bro. Come on, I'm I'm good with short blades. I'm like exceptionally good with short blades. Why? Here, come here. Get closer. Should not be that hard to murder you. Honestly. I'm gonna leave your body there, so hopefully you don't respawn again. Ever. I'm just worried like if I do that too much, that the save's gonna like get corrupted or the world's gonna get like overloaded or something. I'm sure like with open more when they fix that sort of shit, if it was ever even a problem. I just worry because, like, I remember Fallout 3, if you did the wrong things and your save got too big, you could, like, permanently corrupt it. That might have only been a console thing. I honestly don't remember. But, like, that scares me, man. I don't want to fucking lose all my progress because of that. I mean, I have, like, other saves, so it'd probably be fine. We could just roll back to one, but still. Still, though, it's a scary thing. So we actually want to go a little more this way. Ooh, Caldera, we go. We can get back to Caro. Kairos? Vero? Ko Viro. I don't remember his name. Cassius Vero. I feel like it's something along those lines. We'll be there soon enough. Hopefully he can heal us of this corpus, man. I, we can't really, like, see it on ourselves because of, you know, what we're wearing and everything. But we're pretty fucked up right now. Got mushrooms growing on us and shit. We're basically the zombies from Last of Us. That's us right now. It's kind of disgusting. But what are you going to do, you know? When dagoth -er wants you to look like a mushroom boy, you look like a mushroom boy. Kind of have to accept that. That's just your life now. At least until you die. Because, well, from what I hear, you won't live too long after it happens. Except for us. We have plot armor, so it's fun. Oh, look. More short, short blade skill. <laughs> short skill blade. Brain doesn't work. In general, but today included. That? Yeah, that's where we're headed. Oop. Uh, I should really start recording to one of my NVMe drives. Because it's not like... I mean, I couldn't leave them there afterwards because my NVMe drives are relatively small, right? They're only... Oh, hi, friend. Or not friend. I guess that's kind of the issue. You're not. Anyways, I only have two one terabyte NVMe drives. Um, But, like, not no single recording goes over that amount, you know? Like a couple hundred gigs, whatever I have free on them. That would probably fix some of the issues with different games, like being weird when they're trying to load. And like the stutter in this game, for instance. It'd probably fix weird shit like that. It's like, because I record to the hard drive and then load the games off the hard drive at the same time, it kind of kind of gets fucky sometimes, that's all. I mean, I guess alternatively, I could just load the games from the NVMe drive. That'd probably cause less wear and tear on it. Probably the better idea, to be honest, but I already have this game installed on my hard drive, so too late now. Oh, look, it's you guys. Why are you still here? We, like, reunited these people forever ago. Why didn't you, like, run away, go... Find a village or something. I don't know. I don't exactly remember what you guys were running from, to be honest with you. God. 
Okay, well, they don't want to talk to us because we're a mushroom boy. That's fair. Do they hate us now, too? Like, um, I don't know. I can't remember, like, how much they liked or didn't like us before. So I don't know if it's worse, the same, better. Will they still give us a ride on the Silt Strider? Or will that person, like, refuse to talk to us, too, because we're <laughs> infected? I mean, it's not that far to insert name of town that I'm going to because I'm terrible at these things. Uh, Balmora. It's not that far to Balmora if we do end up having to just hoof it, but I would much prefer if they would just give us a ride. I do wonder, like, if we just said, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I don't mind the fact that I'm hideously diseased. Uh, <laughs> like, would it progress? Would it get worse? And then we just die eventually? Travel to Bamora. Ah, cool, okay. So he won't, <laughs> he won't talk to us. He just tells us to get back and that we're hideous, but he'll still give us a ride. So that's fine. What about the shops? Hello. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants to talk to me. Okay, hold on. My favorite palm broker. Does he have... Does he hate me? He probably hates me too. I'm actually going to quick save before talking to him, just in case, like, talking to him fucks Go up ahead, his love for us. Do you need? It was six, it's 66. That might have been what we were at before, though. I don't remember. Uh, but do you have gold? You have 700 gold. So will you please buy some... Oh, I did finally look up the hammers versus the prongs, by the way. The prongs are just like baby's first hammers. So basically just use those up first. So all three of those. Fire salts, the scales. Honestly, do we have... Yeah, we have plenty of food. So just sell like everything. Daedra heart, why not? Daedra skin... 720. I doubt you have anything I want. Um, that's soul trap stuff. I mean, that would be nice if I knew the enchanting system at all. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'll give you a bargain because I like you. 700 offer. And then I will bribe you with a thousand gold to like me more. <laughs> and then I'll barter with you. Wait, what? So when you train with somebody, they get that money like as part of their shop. But when you just bribe somebody, they don't get it. Bruh, that's dumb. Whatever. He likes us more now, which means he'll probably give us better prices. And we, we shop there a lot, so it's fine. Oh, speaking of, isn't there like a general store over here or something? Do you? Or an armor? Um, Barter. We have 1,500 gold. That's pretty decent. I can have my old boots. This Demer, whatever. Oh, that's right. We were using the glass tower shield. I forgot about that. Will you buy weapons? You will. Cool. You can have... Oh, uh, that was too much. <laughs> Do you have anything I want from you? Probably not. Man, I wish there was a way to just sort by, like, armor type. I only want to see light. Um... I don't want to give you that good of a deal. The problem. So if I give you just the hammer, that's 1800. That's pretty close. Do you train anything? You do not. But you know what? I'm just going to sell you the hammer then, and then you can give me all 1500 gold, and we'll call that fair. Noodle, thank you for the four bits, love. I appreciate you. Possibly too busy. Leave me. <laughs> I'm leaving. Calm down. Uh, who are you? You're an outfitter. 
have money? 800. Not much. Do you buy weapons? You do. Excellent. Oh, you can have all these iron arrows too. I don't know why I kept them, to be honest. Um. Okay, that was too much. I'll take the Dwemer thingy back. Will you buy magic ingredients? Oh, dude, these guys will just buy anything. <laughs> it does not matter what they are. They're just like, yeah, you got stuff? Give me stuff. I like it. I wish more people were like that. Just buy all my stuff, man. I don't even have to give me a particularly good price. I just... <laughs> I just want to get rid of my stuff. Why, you don't... <laughs> you don't like Bo? What's wrong with Bo? Bo is beautiful. Except Bo for how they look, damn it. Oh, that's right. We have the amulets, too. They're pricey, though. We'll just, uh... We'll just say this is good. You didn't train, did you? No. Wasn't there... I could have swore there was a general store around here somewhere. Is it you? Ah, it's you. You're the generic trader. You also... Don't fucking train me. How much would you give me for one of these, uh... You know what? How much would you give me for the Dwemer thing? 515? That seems fair enough. Devil's here. That's pretty cool. Offer. Goodbye. What? Okay. Good enough. Alright, let's go talk to... Let's go talk to our boy now. See if we can't get... Get rid of our corpus. Corpus. Whatever. At least figure out how to. Love Bo for how Bo looks. Bo deserves love. Don't be mean to Bo. You're the one that forced them to fuck until they look like this, okay? <laughs> this is on you. That's Hello! <laughs> Bro, I that's so rude! Before I lose my lunch. <laughs> but I have corpus disease! Help me! You have corpus disease. It's a rare disease that usually drives victim mad and causes terrible deformed growths on the body. I don't know much about it. I'll check my informant to see how to cure it. In the meantime, we can discuss your orders. Bro, I don't think this is the time. <laughs> uh, okay, whatever. But Dagoth Gare's dead. The sixth house shrine is no longer a threat. More than earned a promotion to the rank of traveler. I'm very worried that you have corpus disease. Me too. But I have some good news. I canvas my informants for possible treatments just in case you contracted the disease during your mission. I learned from Fast Eddie. Excuse me? Fast Eddie? <laughs> that your best chance of getting cured is Devaith Fear, an ancient Telvanni wizard who runs a corpusarium for victims of the disease. Here, take this Dwemer artifact and a thousand drakes and go to Tell Fear. Devaith Fear will like the Dwemer artifact. A gift may sweeten his disposition. The gold is for expenses. Here's a couple of levitation potions. I hear you'll need them in Telvani Towers. Because wizards don't use stairs. <laughs> Fair. So get moving and get that corpus disease cured. Then hurry back. I think I know how to get the lost prophecies Nabani Mesa asked for. Tell me more about Fast Eddie. Ed, th Ed the Man. <laughs> also Fast Eddie. Also Eddie the Rat. Is a rare commodity. A former Telvani wizard who has gone Imperial and joined the Mages Guild. Colorful but unreliable character, but he is an invaluable source of inside information on Great House Tavani. He has a small house here in Balmora. <laughs> okay, Eddie the man. Thank you for the information. So Tell Fear is Devaith Fierce Tower southwest of Sadrith Mora on an island on the southwestern edge of Zephyr Bell Bay. <laughs> Here, let me mark it on your map. There's a dock, but no boat service, so you must water walk or swim from Sadrith Mora. Use the guild guide service of the Bamora Mage just go to reach a Sadrith Mora. Okay. Fuck. So we're going from the Mage's Guild here. Oh, good. Twitch died again. Um, <laughs> We're using the Mage's Guild here to go to Sadrith Mora. Or we'll find the Wolverine Hall, which we have been to, to get before, uh, for detailed information, directions, to tell fear. Okay, so, Sadrith Mora, and then what was it, Southwest, to tell fear. 
Alright, so we need to go to Mage's Guild. We might as well have a quick rest. Uh, I don't think there's anything we need to drop off. Again, guys, I do apologize about Twitch, but not much I can do in that department. Oh. You wake. You hear something and sense the presence of another nearby. Whoa! Uh, excuse me. I it was not expecting visitors. Bro, this is not very kind of you. I, I don't even have a weapon. Fucking Ash Zombie? How did you get in here? Oh, whatever. Your body can stay there. Trying to just take a nap, my guy. That's so rude. All right, and then let's get some food in me. I be hunger. We can also fix our shit because I just want to get rid of the thingies that we have. Eventually, maybe. Water. And food. Very nice. Did our disease get any worse? No, thankfully. Oh, we're still thirsty. Drink more water. I mean, we did have a very long nap, to be fair. So we need to go to Mage's Guild. That should be easy enough. Over near the Fighter's Guild. We've been there once or twice, so... Load that. I oh no, not start new game. Okay. Are they fucking whispering to themselves. What the hell was that? You're just shit, dude. Uh, this one. I think it's this one. Yeah. Mages Guild. Oh, Hello. On, leave me alone. No. Faction members only. Okay. Whatever. Where's the teleporter? Somebody around here will teleport me, polices. Not you. You're one of the people we do shop with, though. Time to time. I don't think it was you. Is it you? Aha! Yes. I would like... to travel. To Sadrith Mora, Wolverine Hall, Mages Guild, please. Hello, people. Um, Don't mind me. I know I'm hideous. I can't help it the right way out of here. Imperial Shrine. Uh, hi. You have a winning personality. Ah, we're free. Shush you. <laughs> Where are we going? Hell fear. Okay. Just that island over there. Do we happen to sell it or do I have water walking water water breathing um hold on was it up here mages guild there we go do any of you sell no I know guys don't like me much that's fine I need a water walking potion. Spells and uh, not what spell. You train? No. Barter? Nope. Go away, stranger. Barter? Ooh, potions. Water breathe. Water walking. I will buy two, please. And in return, I shall sell you some ash salts and some hackle low leaf. And Helvani bug must because I'm probably never going to remember to use it anyways. Some sheen? How much? You have money, yeah. Uh, is that it? Any other stuff that I want to get rid of? Uh, More booze? You can have more booze. All the booze for yous. Do you buy... Oh, you don't have the gold for it, even if you do buy the amulets. Okay. I'll give you a good deal. 95 gold. This Thank you. Be good. Okay. That should make getting there a little bit more easily, so we don't have to deal with the stupid fish thingies as much. Please, 
I don't wish to catch whatever you have. <laughs> Why not, man? I'm sure you'll love it. It's a great time. Um, I mean, because, ooh, because of how it's like a chain of islands, I feel like it won't actually be that bad getting there. Now, one thing though, let's equip our shield before I forget. So far we've gotten lucky, no, uh, no damned fish. East Cliff Racer, meh. Maybe we won't even need the potions. Get wrecked. In you, thank you. Shit's been stuck in my head forever. Pretty little chain of islands. Wouldn't mind living in an area like this, you know? What is this stuff? Growing in the water. Oh, salt trees. That's handy for potion making. Oh, hi, friend. You're dead. You're also diseased. Oh, and marshmallow. It grows together. It's perfect. If we had our uh, alchemy equipment, we could make some healing potions. Very handy that they happen to grow right next to each other. What is this? This isn't where we're going, but a Bonnaby? No, I think we'll just skip it. I can't trust this game to not just murder me constantly, so... Which is how it should be, honestly. I just feel like at this point we should be strong enough to not die as much. But, um... Yeah, that's not how it usually works out, so... Oh look, it's a crab person! We can kill crab people. We have grow wax. I'll take, thank you. What is this thing? Muck sponge? Mmm, muck. My favorite. Who doesn't love a good muck. Oh, this must okay, so this must be the dock. And that big building must be where we're trying to go. We didn't even need the water walking stuff, man. We just had to take a tiny swim. Honestly, those were some of the safest waters we've been in so far. Most of the waters in this game try to absolutely destroy us. Those ones were really calm, comparatively. Uh, Onyx Hall? I mean... I don't, I guess I don't know where we're actually going. I thought maybe it would be like up here somewhere, like the actual tower tower. But I don't know, man. It's the only door I'm seeing, so maybe that is where we should be going. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go, let's go to Onyx Hall then. I mean, that's where the dock is. It's probably just like one big compound or something, yeah? Interesting looking place. Let's just talk to the people at the front here then. That's stealing. Whatever you're looking Be for, sure fear. Betty fear. <laughs> Hello. Have you clumped to... have you clum? Have you come to plunder the dungeon or have you got corpus disease? Or did you come to see Devaith Fear? I'm bet be be yite. Fear. I'm the wife of Deviath Fear. One of them, sort of. He has, like, a harem going. And I'm here for because I got corpus disease. Everyone who gets corpus disease comes to our corpusarium. It's not very pleasant, but at least they're all fed and cared for. Are they alive, or do they all die? Uh, tell me about Deviath. He's up above in his study. I hope he can fly. You can't get up there unless you can fly or have potions. Sorry. I mean, that's fair, man. Wouldn't want to make this easy. Uh, tell me more about how you're one of the wives of Devaith. Yes, well, 
Not wife in the married sense, but, you know, paramour, consort, something like that. It's a bit awkward, really. Because, well, he made us to... So, though we aren't really his daughters or anything, it's like we were his daughters because he made us, you see. What? <laughs> so, are you, are you... What? I need more explanation than that. Are you guys, like, fucking... Clones? Are you... What? How did he make you? But you're not his daughters. How does that work? Also, I know you said he's up, but and that we would have to fly. But how do we even get up? I guess we can just explore a little bit in the meantime. That's trapped. It's also gold. What is this? Oh, that's part of the corpusarium. Okay. Make it quick. Delta fear. Um. Has to be <laughs> something along those lines, eh? Maybe the worst name on Twitch. Definitely not the worst name on Twitch. What's up, man? Welcome. Not the Corpusarium. The Corpusarium is in the caverns down below the tower. Just keep going down. You want to speak with Oopsie Fear or Vista Kai. They attend to the needs of the Corpusarium inmates, victims of the Corpus disease. If you go down there, be careful. Many Corpus victims are completely mad and quite violent. Okay, can you give me more directions to Lord Fear? He's in his study. I'm sure he won't mind being disturbed. We get few visitors here. You can levitate, can't you? The study is on an upper level, accessible only by the central flywell. I'm afraid we aren't set up to accommodate barbarians or peasants. Understand? Go up the ramps to the Hall of Fear, then walk around looking up until you see a shaft by you. Then levitate up the shaft, then look for Lord Fear in his study. Okay... Nate, it's locked. It's not red though. Very inviting. Do I have power key? Only does fifty. I think I have a spell somewhere. Yeah. Very low chance that it works, but oh, wait, did it work? No. Damn. Okay. Well, I think we also have a scroll somewhere. Ability. Uh, aha, lock splitter. There we go. One thousand and eighth key. One thousand and eighth. That's a lot of keys, man. Why do you need over a thousand of? Are there? How big is this corpusarium? Okay. Well, I'm guessing since everybody keeps saying up, we probably need to go this way. In here? Yeah, a hall of fear. Okay. And then we go up that shaft, I'm assuming. But are more people? Books teach me anything? No. I mean if they did they'd be worth more than fifty. Um looking at him anyways. No luck. Okay. In this room. Can I sleep here? I cannot. Regular like level 10 one. Ooh. Devaith has his own chest down here. Wait. If his like sleeping quarters are down here can we just wait for him to come down to go to bed? Then talk to him? There we go. Alteration skill increased to 6 bro. We're gonna be summoning shit in no time. Okay, I think we were given either a potion or scroll of levitate. Mind. Burst. Light. Must have been a potion. Um, if it's not called levitate, then what is it? Of light. Fire Shield, Magicka, Rising Force. There we go. That'll do the trick. Uh, are you Devathius? Uh, say, that's an interesting Dwemer piece you have there. What can you tell me about it? Um, offer the Dwemer artifact as a gift. 
A gift for me? How thoughtful and shrewd. I suppose you know I am a collector and that such a gift is bound to please me. Congratulate you on your diplomatic skills. So, why have you tried to butter me up? Come to consult the great Devaith Fear? You have the divine disease. Want to plunder the dungeon or leer at my daughters? So he refers to them as daughters, yet they're also wives. Kind of weird, man. I just got to admit, you know, <laughs> like you should pick one or the other. Just throwing that out there. Uh, but that's besides the point. I have the divine disease. Magical principles of corpus disease are elusive and miraculous, far more subtle and powerful than any conventional sorcery or enchantment. I'm persuaded that it is in some manner the curse or blessing of a god, perhaps both a curse and a blessing. The victim, of course, cannot appreciate the marvelous nature of corpus. Saps the mind, destroys the body, but to a wizard it is a profound and glorious mystery, a riddle worth of lifelong time of study. Uh, okay, well, can you cure it? How interesting. Did you know that corpus makes you immune to disease? I did not. That's cool. Have you ever heard the prophecies of the Nerevarine? Ashlanders say the Nerevarine will be immune to disease. I've always thought, maybe I have the Nerevarine down in my corpusarium, and I don't even know it. Ha ha. <laughs> the Nerevarine is a fat, disgusting corpus monster, and Matt is a marsh rat. Wouldn't that be funny? Um... Be honest with him? I think we should probably just be honest with him. You know, it's funny you bring that up. I may be the Nerevarine, I'm not convinced. But everybody else around me seems to think it's a possibility. It's a fascinating story you tell. So, you might be the Nerevarine. It means nothing, of course. Corpus victims have all sorts of delusions. But let me think. I've got a potion. In theory, it should cure Corpus. It doesn't work, though. Probably kill you. Killed all my test subjects. But you've got nothing to lose. Before I give it to you, I want you to look around below in the Corpusarium. Know what's in store if you don't take the potion. While you're there, I want you to pick up a pair of boots from a victim. Calls himself Yagram Bagarn, my oldest patient. Handy fellow, fixes things for me. Bring the boots back and then you can have the potion. Okay, tell me more about the Dwemer piece. No, nope. okay, tell me more about your daughters then. Daughters. Uh, not bad for something born in a jar, eh? Charming and talented. Not daughters, really. A little project, a side benefit of my researches into corpus disease. Made them myself from my own flesh. Nice, aren't they? Alfear, Betty Fear, Delta Fear, and Oopsie Fear. <laughs> Quite a comfort to me in my old age. Um, Alfie is the sharpest of my girls, and wit and tongue gets on my nerves sometimes, but conf conflict is the spice of life. Uh, Betty is the sweet one, eager to please and be pleased, an excellent cook, and a lovely singing voice. Doughty is the efficient one, organized and orderly. She acts as our steward, manages accounts, maintains supplies, keeps the tower and corpusarium running. And Oopsie? <laughs> Oopsie is the girl with the biggest heart. She takes care of the inmates of the corpusarium and helps with my research. Uh, it's still very weird, man. Okay, okay, okay. You don't want to hear more about my corpus disease. I understand. Uh, oh, I forgot we were levitating. I was like, why are we going up? We have a lot of expensive books. I mean, I guess it makes sense. This is your study slash work area. And are any of them interesting to me, though? Uh, probably not. Doesn't see. Anything else up here of interest to me, just in general? I'm not a thief. I'm not going to steal all your shit. Doesn't look like you have anything good anyways, to be honest. Turns, crates. Anything like hidden back here? No. I can't help but wonder what's up there. I don't think there's actually anything. But if we can fit, man. Spit it out or hit the road. Alright, Alfie. Suppose you want to speak to Devaith Fear. Have you got the corpus disease or were you plan to plunder the dungeon? Uh what happens when we say plunder? You're smart. Got corpus disease, get killed by corpus monsters, get killed by Vis the Sky. A very good plan. Plunder the dungeon of a four thousand year old wizard. What could be easier? Yeah, fair. Um can I maybe get around you? No? Okay. You know what? It's fine. You stay there. I'll go this way. Crap. I mean, it's not red. That means it'll be fine if we just probe it a little bit, right? Failed, failed, failed. Good job. Oh, fuck. It's also locked. 
level 100 though? I mean, we do still have more scrolls to open it. They don't seem to mind. Curse of the Savior's Hide. Value 150... Wait. Yeah, 150,000. Constant effect. Resist Magicka 60%. With an armor rating of 152 and it's light? Bro. Are we sure that's not like cursed or something? That's insane. Let's go. Okay. Um. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have a ring. A ring that'll help in this case. Uh, slow fall. Um. Am I, I amulet, ring, amulet, whatever. Thank you. Hey, thank you for the follow. Maybe the worst name, maybe maybe the worst name on following. Twitch. Oh, not wait. Okay, I probably could have like jumped first and then used amulet, but it's fine. Okay, so we have to go down to the corpusarium. Where? This way. Somewhere. Nope. Fuck, I'm lost. Oh wait, it was out. That's right. I remember now. I know what I'm doing. It's fun. Down to here. Now I wonder, can you give us any tips Whatever you're looking for, on... Sure I don't know how to find it. Um... No. Curious if they knew where we could find the person that we were looking for, like the specific person. But no, it's also very dark down here. I miss the Kai. I miss the Kai, Warden of the Corpusarium. I am here to warn you: do not harm the inmates. If you come to plunder the dungeon, you must endure their attacks and take your chances with me, their warden and protector. Oh, what do you mean exactly by endure their attacks? Do not harm the inmates. I will not tolerate you adding to their suffering. Indeed, they are brutal and ferocious, and they will kill you if they can. But you are their guest, and you may not harm them, or you will answer to me. Mm, that's not very comforting. Um. Okay, well, I mean, I'm one of them. Surely they just, they won't have a problem with us. Oh, God. Nope, they already have a problem with us. <laughs> Where is he? Is he down here in the bowels? Is it, like, literal? Like, we're not allowed to attack these things? Or... You talk? You don't talk. Surely they don't mind us, like, plundering the dead bodies, at least, right? Holy shit, dude. There's so many high-level chests around here. Uh, where's my probe? Probe it. Crap disarmed, and... Sure, let's use... I mean, they're level 100 chests, man. I think it's worth using a couple of our... Scrolls here. One thousand ninety second key. Let's go. We're gonna get all the keys. Wait, three value thirty. Not actually that great. What? What happened there? Why did I use another scroll? God damn it, dude. That was a waste. Oh well. Is what it is. Can't change it now. Um, run and jump. Yeah, that worked. Surprisingly, but it worked. Door. Door's a good sign. Maybe. Okay, so this is back to this area of the Corpusarium. The area where it uh, seems people want to kill me. No surprise, you're locked and trapped. Um, I don't think we have the skill. To pick level 100 locks, just like period. Apparently we don't have the skill to <laughs> disarm their traps either. Probe, probe. Don't need those keys for anything right now. 
quality one. I thought we had like a partially used lock pick, but I guess not. Okay. Lock two complex. Yeah, I kind of figured as much, but. <laughs> Noodle, you're a weirdo. Love you. Um. Oh shit, we're also thirsty. I guess we could take a drink while we're in here. Oh no, put put my clothes back on, definitely. Not trying to strip right now. I guess go ahead and use another thing though. And then put it away so we don't like use it. Another goblet. And I'm starting to think. Oh god. <laughs> I'm starting to think we shouldn't um, be opening these chests. High level locks, and they're not that great. It's just like, I'm worried one of them is going to be great because look at the fucking armor we found upstairs, you know? Look, will you talk to me, maybe, instead of just beating on me? No. Some are good, some are crap. I only have so many scrolls, though. Uh, apparently one. <laughs> Do I have more? Telekinesis, silence. That's only 40 to 60. I have a bunch of scrolls, but I don't think I have more for lock picking. Yeah, no. <laughs> so. <laughs> May not be able to open too many more of them, but we'll keep trying. Why not? At least grab the good armor, so even if you run out. That's true. That's very true. Yeah, the, just that armor alone. Like, resist magicka 60% and armor rating a 152. Like, that well worth the six scrolls that I started with. <laughs> On its on its own. Oh, is it for real? The best light armor in the game? Hell yeah. Good to know. Very glad I picked it up. Are you? Are you the guy we're down here to talk to? You must be Oopsie, yeah. Hello, Oopsie. I uh, have corpus disease. The disease takes many forms. For some, the progress is rapid and terrible. For others, the effects on the mind and body are very slow. It's a remarkable uh, affliction, and that once having contracted corpus, one is completely unaffected by any other diseases. I've always hoped that our research would permit us to isolate the beneficial aspects of corpus, but alas, we've not been successful. Tell me more about the victims. Be careful you're going to prowl around down here. We will be very angry if you hurt any of our patients, and our patients can be quite a handful. I'll tell you, strong as Ogrim and twice as mean. Okay. Are you... Yeah, you're the one I'm looking for. You're here for the Dwemer boots. Tell my gracious keeper that I have done what I could. Only a Dwemer mage crafter could have done so much. But only idiots could have created these boots. It shames my race that we must be judged by the works of such lackwit blunderers. Wait. My race? Once I was a master crafter in the service of Lord Greenneck, chief architect of the Great Second Empire Freeholds and the greatest enchanter of his time. I could not match the genius of Lord Greenneck, <laughs> but what he could envision, I and my colleagues could build. All of that is gone forever. I still retain my cunning, but my hands and eyes fail me, and my memories have long faded. The only consolation is each day to mock the gods who destroyed my race and condemn me to this bleak existence. So, does, so he's a Dwemer then, right? Does that imply... Optijack, what's up, man? Does that imply that his... Ex the fact that he has Corpus, like the fact that he was immune to disease, somehow stopped him from disappearing with the rest of the Dwemer? I don't know. Must have changed. I didn't... I didn't touch it. I swear to God, I didn't touch it. Maybe you just used it so much that it decided you weren't allowed to anymore. It is on a timer, though, isn't it? So, like, you can't do it too close to each other. But I really didn't change it. As much as I joke about it, I don't mind <laughs> the hydrate every once in a while. Tell me more of your bleak existence, Dwemer. 
It's the disappearance of the dwarves. I have been alone in this world, trapped in this grim prison. I can scarcely move, and my fellow inmates are scarcely good company. The risk of corpus disease deters most visitors, but if you meet with cultivated minds undaunted by the terrors of the corpusarium, you might mention your recent interview with the last living dwarf. Tell me more! It's really cool, actually, to meet one. Um, Although, it brings more questions than answers, honestly. You're on mobile, so maybe... Uh, maybe. Why are you on mobile? Are you not home yet? Sir, it's almost two in the morning. This is how I style myself. I do not know for a fact that I am the last, but in my travels thousands of years ago... You, how old are you? Do the Dwemer always live that long? I never encountered another, and since I have been here, I often ask Lord F Fear, but he says he has never heard a credible rumor of another Dwemer, on Tamriel or in any outer realm. Interesting. Okay, what do you know of the disappearance of the dwarves? Hmm. I cannot say what happened. I was not there to observe. I was in an outer realm at the time, and when I came back, my people were gone. I left Red Mountain, wandering Tamriel for years, searching our deserted colonies, looking for a survivor or an explanation. Then, a long, long time ago, I returned to Red Mountain, still looking for answers. Instead, I found corpus disease, and I have been here ever since. I have theories, if you are interested. Okay, so it has nothing to do with corpus, then, because he didn't already have it when everybody was sent away. Hmm... But why? Since your brother TikTok, and I apologize in advance if he sends it to you. Oh, is it water related? If it's deep ocean related, I'll definitely send it to him. You're taking a shit. Good to know. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. I have theories. Tell me of your theories. Lord Kagranak, the foremost arcane philosopher and magecrafter of my era, devised tools to shape mythopoeic forces. <laughs> Mythopoeic? Opoeic? Forces intending to transcend the limits of Dwemer mortality. However, in reviewing his formulae, some logicians argued that side effects were unpredictable and errors might be catastrophic. I think Kagnarak might have succeeded in granting our race eternal life with unforeseen consequences, such as wholesale displacement to an outer realm. Or he may have erred and utterly destroyed our race. Interesting. Okay, well, tell me of the boots. Dwemer boots of flying? Oh. That's cool. Can we just keep those? Tell me of your gracious keeper. I owe my life to Lord Fear. He took me in when I was a mad monster, out of my mind. In time, I emerged from my dementia, and now I'm quite lucid most of the time, though my body is still a grotesque and useless prison. I still have some feeble hope of a cure. Lord Fear has tried many spells and potions. None have helped me, but neither have they harmed me. If anyone can cure this disease, Lord Fear can. So, wait. You came out of your madness. Would everybody with corpus disease event? Oh man, this whole this whole thing brings so many more questions than anything. Okay, um, where's the boots? So it's only when used, and they're heavy, which sucks. But still, pretty cool. I wouldn't mind. How heavy are they? Twenty. Mm, maybe not worth carrying around. Oh, wait, this is back where... Yeah, I've been in here. We already got this chest? Yes. This place isn't as big as I thought it was, is it? Deep clear lakes with people... Ah! Oh! That actually sounds pretty cool. Ice skating on a deep clear lake. I kind of... <laughs> I would kind of like to do that, honestly. But I don't know about the ice skating part, because... Uh... Don't think I'd be too good at that, but just, just like walking out on one or something would be cool though. Just to see like, you know, deep down in like that. So what are these keys for? We've gotten a couple of them. Are they for other chests? This is the exit, right? Yeah, that's the exit. Ignore that for a moment. What's this? Another old game? <laughs> Sorry, that dude just clipping through, though. Hello, friend. I don't mind if you beat on me. Oh, God. Okay, I was, like, frozen in place. But yeah, can you guys, like, pathfind out of my way? Thank you. Close the door. Problem solved. Chest? Chest. Probe? 
lockpick. Lockpick. Uh, these are all lockpicks. Must not have a single probe left. Okay, use the shit ones first. This arm failed. It's fine. We'll get it eventually. Unlike lock picking, as far as I can tell, uh, disarming traps can never like be too complex. No matter the trap level, if traps even have levels. And last scroll. It missed. Bro, how did it miss? Did it hit the water? I bet it hit the freaking water, didn't it? <laughs> That's so annoying. I used my last scroll on that. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have anything else. I don't think it'll tell me. Like, it'd be nice if the if the search also searched like effects. But it does not, as far as I'm aware. I mean, the Thief Ring would raise our attributes. That might help a little bit, but that would only take our lock pick up a tiny bit, if anything. And we have, like, that, but that's 40 to 60. I didn't even realize we had telekinesis. Hey, yeah. Breath was the last one we looked at. Oh, what a carry in flight is. Grace. No, no, no. No. Yeah, nothing. Detect key? Wait. Oh, that's the boots, okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's this one, which is 1 to 100 points on touch, which could technically do it, but our chance is 0, and we're out of... Oh, our chance is 0 because we're out of Magicka, so yeah. That's not gonna happen. Um, power key only does 50. Yeah, I think we're just shit out of luck at this point with the chests. That's too bad. I'm still gonna explore a tiny bit more just because I'm curious. Bros, please let me through. What the hell these keys are for? Gonna be locked too. Yes, you are. Cap Cow, what's up, man? How's it going tonight, my guy? I will take your gold and your hashes, of course. Um, water? Or really hard to see in water? Is there anything down here? Or is this just empty? This just looks empty. Big empty pit of water. I mean, I guess even if you got corpus disease, you still got to drink, right? They got to keep water somewhere. I thought this was... Oh, wait, yeah. Hold on. On the mini-map. Oh, cool. Glad I looked up at the map, because I com completely missed this hallway. And well, hope everyone else is too. I'm wonderful myself, just tired. Work was a bitch today, but I've had worse days. And it's over now, so... And I have tomorrow off, which is uh, awesome, man. I have some errands I got to run, of course, but not the end of the world. <laughs> Hello, friends. <laughs> Glad you guys made it over here. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just going to have a bite to eat real quick. Uh, some cooked marshmallow sounds nice. Marshmallow. And uh, might as well take a... Oh, wait. It's empty. Water catcher, then. There we go. Alright. Goodbye, friends. Enjoy your, uh, honestly, pretty terrible sounding existence down here. But I guess better here than up top where you're gonna be, you know, ridiculed, murdered, etc. Uh, this almost looks like there's something else over here, but I don't think we missed anything, right? Oh, well, we missed this chest, but... Oh, no, we didn't. Never mind. Oh, that's here. Yeah, okay. There is more over here. 
probably another locked. Yeah. Can't do much with it. I mean, we can get points for... for probing it, though. Slowly get our security skill up. <laughs> and our block skill, apparently. This seems like, honestly, a pretty decent place to... To train our, our block skill. Because they deal so little damage. Block pick. It would just take forever to really do anything. After oh! Really? So that's what like those keys are for? For these chests? Oh, it's already unlocked. Apparently we don't have the key for this one, so... Not sure what it thought was a link. If you, like, uh, put a period and then forget to put a space, sometimes it fucks up and thinks it's a link. No biggie, man. Uh, well, anyways. I think we're done fucking around down here. Back up to the top. Bye, friends. Um, glad I didn't hit you. Any of you. And I uh, hope your lives down here are nice. But I've had enough of getting beat on by some honestly kind of hideous monster. We could maybe... The other side of this. It's not red, but I'm worried she'll get mad. It's fine. We'll just leave it. I'm sure there's nothing. <laughs> Man. Forget what the potion was called. Uh, fly? Nope. We could just use the boots, I guess, real quick. Why not? Yeah, we might as well. Uh, the boots are flying. Zoom, zoom. Okay, now he might not like us wearing them, though. <laughs> Holy shit, those things are huge. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, okay. So let's uh let's take them off though. And then put our glass boots back on. There you go. I got you your thing. What did you get my boots? No boots, no potion. I did. The boots first, please, and now I'll give you the potion. On the following condition, you must drink it here before my eyes. It should act immediately, and I need to observe you very carefully, agreed. Uh <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Are we gonna die? Tell me more about the potion. You won't tell me more about the potion. Yeah, whatever. I mean, it's it's part of plot, right? They wouldn't just kill us like that. I don't think. I hope not. <laughs> uh, yeah, give me the potion. Go ahead. Open your mouth and close your eyes. Oh god. I don't. I don't like that. Why do I have to close my eyes though? Couldn't you just hand me the potion and I? Oh, good enough swallow. Goodness, good grief. Look, look, it's working. Remarkable. Let me check your skin, your eyes, your tongue. Amazing. I think it worked. No signs of the disease at all. Of course, you still have corpus disease, just like I planned, but all your symptoms are gone. Marvelous. I'll go try it out on some of the more desperate inmates, but I'll answer any questions you have before you go. <laughs> I mean, that just means we now fulfill another part of the prophecy, though. Because if we still have the disease, then we're just, you know immune to other diseases wait are we legit immune to other diseases now that's pretty sick no more like potion to cure diseases or or blight disease or any of that shit that's pretty sick wait will they get rid of the blight that i didn't know we had because <laughs> that's kind of shit i hope it does all right well tell me about the warden this is the Kai, the Argonian, is my warden of the Corpusarium, quite a fighter, tough as nails, self-taught, works out with my daughters, who are no slouches at the martial arts themselves. This is the Kai was one of the last of my slaves. He freed him, and he wouldn't leave. He kept him on as a hireling, then made him my partner. Excellent fellow, fine companion. Not an intellectual, you understand, but good company for me and my daughters. Um, if I don't think... Do you know more symptoms? Amazing, a bit surprised myself. I don't think I have... Anything else I actually need to ask you? Chocobo, hello, Please sir. Uh, don't I know you from somewhere? Bro, we really are. Light disease, common disease. Bro, we're just immune to everything now. 
That's sick as hell. Thank you. I would kiss you if the game would let me. Just moi, you know? This chest is also a lush trap, so... <laughs> Thank you, enthusiast sir. Thank you. Just redeemed hydrate. Wait, what else helped? Popped up. Did you redeem two things, or did it just, like, pop up twice for some reason? Uh, I only see one thing on here. Yeah, whatever. For you, my guy. Honestly, my mouth's kind of dry. I need to get those mints. <laughs> I don't remember what they're called. I just remember I was scrolling through some app on my phone one day, and I just got this random ass ad. I think it was just Facebook I was scrolling through. And then, wait, <laughs> did it actually pop up twice? That's fine. We'll drink toys. Why not? Um, but anyways, and there was just some girl with her tongue hanging out, you know? <laughs> and it was like, Flint, that's the name of it. <laughs> Flint Mints for uh, stoner streamers and lovers. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, dude? Why is this just on Facebook? It's a weird-ass ad, but... I guess it worked, though. I remember the mints. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was Flint Mints. And the reason that I remember that is because um, Flint, Michigan, the whole thing with, like, the water supply there and everything. And I was like, that's kind of, like, <laughs> I don't know if that was purposeful or not. But, you know, <laughs> Flint being a place where you can't drink the water. And then the name of mints that fix your... Uh, dry mouth problems. It's yeah. Anyways, let's go, bro. I'm actually super excited about being immune to all these diseases. That is amazing. Um. So wait, do we just go back to our guy now? I guess so, huh? Yeah. I mean, we don't have like a quest toward or anything, but I don't know where else we would be going. Um. Might as well just fast travel back. I don't see the point in anything else. I'm pretty sure we're low on health potion. Oh shit! Hello. Uh, give, give me, give me a second. Let me. Ah, uh, where's my shield? Oh, my shield's out. Okay. Anyways, yeah. After not that dungeon we were just in, but the one before that, I think. We ended up using a bunch of our potions at the point, so... Collecting some marshmallow and shit to make a couple more is not a terrible idea. Not like money's a problem for us at this given point in time. So we could just buy some, but... This shit's abundant here, and we might as well collect it and make our own. Potentially get our alchemy skill up a tiny bit at the same time. Oh... What I am going to do this time, though, just for sake of speeding things up a little bit, and because we've already come through here before, is I'm actually going to use those potions of water walking. Get across a little bit quicker. Probably also help if we went the right way. That would also make things quicker. How long does... Not long. Uh, well, okay. That's fine. Use the other one, and then... It'll get us across a couple of the bigger gaps, at least, I guess. I'll have to swim part of the way. Are we going... Yeah, we're going to Wolverine Hall. A small one. Oh, yeah, I remember that plate. He's like lootable. Okay. They look like they would be, you know, like some sort of mushroom or fruiting body of a tree of some sort. Eco. I am excited to play Eco one of these days, like finish Eco, I guess, one of these days. Just because I'm curious how, like, to everything. <laughs> I'm very curious about the story for both Eco and Shadow of the Colossus. I want to know more about them. The same thing with, like, Drakengard. I want to play more Drakengard because I want to know the story, and more importantly, I want to, like, see how it links up with, uh, near, it's near Automata, right, that it links up with? 
I couldn't remember that the other day when I was at the game store talking to the owner. Anyways, point is, uh, but the gameplay of Dragon Guard, I enjoy the gameplay of of Eco and uh, Shadow of the Colossus, but Dragon Guard, man, it's a little bit rough. Let's be honest. It's just it's 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 rough. <laughs> Dynasty Warriors, that's what the fuck it's called. It's just Dynasty Warriors, but like worse gameplay wise. Oh, but you can also ride dragons, of course. Don't forget don't forget the dragons. Let's get this over with quickly. Where's <clears throat> this it? Ah, this is it. This is actually exactly where we want to be. Um I need to sell some things. Especially now. That I'm immune to things. Will you buy greater soul gems? You won't. Looks like you will buy potions though. So. Disease. I can sell you all of my potions of disease and blight disease. Because I'm immune now. So fuck that. Save myself that whole half pound worth of carry weight. Um... I'll sell you this other alchemy stuff because, in all honesty, I'm probably never going to make good use of it. Oh, didn't we have, like, some scrolls of disease, too? Your disease. Store health. Health. Uh, yeah, cure. Oh. That cures disease and health, though, so we'll keep that. Oh, I detect enchantment. Shield, shield. Telekinesis. Ah, cure blight disease on self. You won't buy scrolls. Well, <laughs> sure. Why would you, I guess, right? Oh, well, I missed some ingredients, so you can have those too. I didn't figure you would buy any of this other crap. Alright, fine. I'll just sell you that stuff. We have a lot more marshmallow than we do salt trees, so I'll buy your salt trees. Okay. You played Sh Shadow of the Colossus first and enjoyed the series. Thinking about it more, you'd say play e Eco first. Yeah, that's more or less my plan is to play Eco first. I hope this won't take long. Just because it came out first, and you know, I tend to try and play things in order. Um. I find it's easier to adjust back once than it is to like get used to new mechanics of a game, you know, with more modern quality of life and uh, mechanics and all that. And then to go back, I find is much more like disrupting than it is to get used to say Morrowind and then play Oblivion, Skyrim, etc. They just kind of get better as you go along quality of life wise instead of worse <laughs> one is much harder than the other in my opinion that's all uh you buy scrolls i imagine since you sell scrolls your blight disease sell you those please and thank you i think that was the only ones i had that i wanted to sell though you also sell weapons last wish ah poison Poison's not bad. Demon Longbow? Does that go with the Demon Tonto that we have? It's very expensive. And we have, like, no skill anyways, so... Question of the day! What's the most underrated video game that you have ever played? I kind of feel like we may have used that one, or asked that one before, but I couldn't remember for sure, so I put it in. Demon Helm? This Bound Gloves? Also, hello, Noodle. <laughs> Um, armor rating 15, armor rating 10, that's heavy. And we'll just keep the one we have, fine. Like, the Lothian Helm? Your health is kind of neat, I guess, but don't care that much. Yeah, anyways, most underrated video game that I have ever played. Um... I should I should say like played and enjoyed right because <laughs> I have played a lot of games that were poorly rated and possibly even underrated you know would be fair to say 
but not necessarily enjoyed them myself. I, I've played a lot of games, obviously. Um, I'm not positive how well it was rated, so it's hard for me to say, but Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. At the very least, I feel like it didn't get the attention that it deserves, and it's very fucking good game. Very fucking good. Maybe Viewful Joe? Or Tactics? Yeah. Okay. I've never played Viewful Joe. I've heard some pretty decent things. Uh, in Tactics, I personally enjoy a ton. I've just never played a ton of it. Star Ocean for PS1, in your opinion? I've only ever played the uh, PS2 one. I don't know if you know, but I also uh, am currently collecting and trying every PlayStation 2 game. Um, and then the ones I enjoy, I'm trying to play through to completion. Or at least finish them, I should say. Uh, in Star Ocean... Uh, something? I forget the name of it. Chocobo? <laughs> I don't know. Something Time? It wasn't even that long ago that we tried out. Anyways, that's the only Star Ocean game I've ever played. And uh, I like it, but I'm iffy on the combat system. I think I'll grow to like the combat system the more I play it, though. And then um, it was just very slow. But I only played the opening section of the game, of course, so it's likely that'll get better as time goes on, to be fair. Like, which I'm sure you can have that. One more goblet. I'm just going to sell you everything you'll buy because I don't want it. Till the end of time. That's the name of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My memory is terrible, so I appreciate you. I hope we didn't need. We didn't we don't need this book for anything, right? Uh, I hope not. The most overrated game I've ever played is Resident Evil 4 on the PS2. <laughs> <laughs> I might get a little hate for that. I know, I know a lot of people really like it, and I plan on playing through more of it. My opinion could change, but from what I played of it, it's just not that great. But everybody I talk to fucking loves it, man, and I don't get it. But I still plan on finishing it, and uh, hopefully my opinion changes. So, we'll see. And maybe it'll be better on PC. Chocobo insists that it's better if I, you play, like, PC or whatever. Um, so, like, there's that, too, I guess. I think that's everything we have to get rid of here. Nothing else pops out to me. Yeah. Offer that, and... You're not the traveling so one. Nope. Is it you? Yes, it's you. you will address Does anybody else have anything that I want or anything, though? Probably not. I'll make my own potion, so I don't care about that. You won't train me because I'm not in the guild. Same with you. Eh, you could teach me spells, but my magic is terrible, so probably not. Um. Oh, yeah, travel. There we go. I need to go back to Balmera, please. Balmora, please. Hold and on, thank you. You're trouble, I can tell. You're trouble. What do you mean I'm trouble? That was rude of you to say. Can't be fun, but not a true Resident Evil, in your opinion. That's the thing. Like I just played so much Resident Evil. Okay, let's be honest. They're all kind of jank. <laughs> Can't be fun. To be clear, right? <laughs> but um, I played and really enjoyed one, two, and three. And four is just so much of a change from them that it was a little off-putting to start with. And then there's the, in my opinion, terrible uh, gunplay in that game. I, I don't like the way that you, uh, that you, that you aim, honestly. Like, uh, it just, it doesn't sit well with me. <laughs> so then, like, just the gameplay doesn't end up being super enjoyable for me personally. And that's kind of where, where it all comes from. But I think I'll like it more if I play it more, though. Um... And therefore, I do plan on it, eventually. Wait till you get to The Last of Us. I'm really excited to try The Last of Us, though. I, uh, I've i played a tiny bit of The Last of Us, to be fair. Not much. Only like a half hour of it. But I haven't played anything after 4. Uh, I play games in order. And almost, almost exclusively in order. Uh, at least if they're, like, story games where things are connected. Obviously, I'll... For games that aren't connected in any way. Like, say, Final Fantasy, you know? I'll play Final Fantasy 15 before I play, like, Final Fantasy 3 or whatever. Because not connected in any way. 
But for games with a story that are connected, I, I play them in order if I can help it. So I've only played one, two, three, some of zero, haven't finished zero, and uh, some of four, haven't finished four. Do I have more prongs? I do not have more prongs. Then hammer it is. I love how we can just beat a glass shield with a hammer and somehow that fixes it. Love that. Uh, I'm sure we're thirsty as fuck. Take a drink or two. And eat some food. And I need to grab my alchemy stuff. Yeah, we have a lot more salt trees here than I thought we did. I don't think we need to buy any. But it's fine. Uh, uh, I forgot how game worked for a second. Uh, salt trees, marshmallow, store health. Eight. Mostly gonna fail, but whatever. Aiming in the last of us is similar to Resident Evil 4, but much heavier and sluggish. That sounds terrible, but I honestly didn't mind from what little I played of it. Like, I'm not sure who's more annoying, Ashley from Resident Evil 4 or Navi from Ocarina of Time. I... Did I ever get to the point where I actually had to, like, escort Ashley? I don't think I did. Navi never got on my nerves that much, personally. I, I know that's, like, a really common thing for people. But for me, it's always just been kind of like, meh, whatever. I can more or less annoy her. Annoy her. Ignore. Navi. Whereas, like, companions that actually follow you around that you have to escort, in my opinion, just get in the way. Or, like, you'll be trying to stealth through a section or something, and they'll just be so obvious and get themselves caught, and then they start dying, and I just want to murder them myself so I don't have to deal with them anymore. That's why I don't have a companion in this game, or pretty much any Bethesda game that I play. I hate companions most of the time. Ugh. No, you made it to the title card? Okay. Okay. I couldn't remember. That's, that was that was too long ago for my memory. Save game since we took a nap. Uh, also caps lock because I accidentally did that earlier. Hello! I was attacked while sleeping. That's worrying. The sixth house does exist, and for some reason they want you dead. Perhaps it is not safe to sleep in town. Makes it too easy for them to find you. Word of new outlanders gets around fast here. Maybe camping out in the backcountry is safer. Maybe you should take the fight to them. They might have a base nearby. Oh, that's an interesting idea. The fact that if we're being attacked, it could be because they have a sixth house, like, operation going on in town or near the town or whatever. If that is how it works, I like that mechanic. That's nice. Uh, recalled? Internal politics. Some concerns about my sugar. I thought about refusing the recall, but they have members of my family back in the capital. I'm afraid it may have something to do with the problems with the succession. Excuse me. As the Emperor's health declines, factions are maneuvering for advantage. I may gone, be gone a while. That's why you're promoted to operative. That's, man, we're getting a lot of promotions real quick. Kind of makes me wonder how well how much we can trust you, but hmm, that makes you the ranking blades agent here in Vardenfell district. As far as I know, there may be other blade agents here I don't know about. It wouldn't surprise me. I may be gone a while and you'll have expenses. Here's some gold and you can use the house until I return. I won't be needing these blacks or the ring while I'm in Cyrodiil. Maybe they'll come in handy. Take good care of them. Oh. Well, thanks, I guess. Hmm. Continue pursuing the Nerevarine prophecies as the Emperor commands. First, go to the Hall of Wisdom and Justice and get Mera Milo to help you find the Lost Prophecies. She's being watched. If something has gone wrong, find her private quarters. She'll leave you a message there under the code word Amaya. Then take the Lost Prophecies to Nabani Mesa. From that point, you'll have to follow her directions and follow the prophecies. Good luck. Bro, that's a lot of info. Your info dumping. Okay, I'm gonna need... Uh, first I'm gonna need my mouse. I really hope he'll tell us that again. Because I need to make a note of that. Because otherwise I will forget. Um... Oh. There we go. Where is it? 
Here it is. Okay, I know I have a notes document here somewhere. Okay. On your own, just do what I told you. Get Mara Milo to help you find the Lost Prophecies, and then take the Lost Prophecies to the from that point. Okay, but... Ah, he's not going to retell me what I asked, is he? Or what he just told me, I should say. Hmm. just want to tell you someone got very mad. When that... <laughs> I think she'll be okay. The cat will live. I wonder if the sixth house... Is somehow like behind his being recalled. I feel like probably honestly. I wouldn't be surprised if the the sixth house, even though they're kind of like hidden, secret, whatever, has a lot more pull politically than uh than they want people to think at least. But I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Well, I've been to the Corpusarium. Temple sends vic victims of Corpus disease to the Corpusarium. Corpusarium is beneath Telfir, the tower. Yeah, okay. Full of doomed crazy people with bloated bodies. You'll love it. You know me so well, Caius. Don't know much about it. I've never seen a case myself. You can get it from contact with the Red Mountain Monsters. They call Corpus Beasts. I think it's like a blight disease, only worse. Usually drives like a mad. Yeah, okay. So who's the person that we're looking for exactly? If I can at least remember that name, I can always look her up or something if I have to. Um, Mira Milo, I think it was at the Hall of Justice or whatever, right? Oh wait, he gave us new clothes and things. Are they better in any way? Ah, they are. They give us Chameleon and Sneak? Okay, so they're, they're basic clothes but magic? Aw, oh, fuck yeah, dude. Anything else? He gave us his ring, too. Luck and security. Oh, that's actually pretty helpful. Um, cool. I will keep that. Add it to all the other jewelry I just carry around with me. We can sleep in this bed now. Like, actually sleep in this bed now. Without it being red. It's weird that, like... The chests and things are all still marked as stealing, even though he literally just gave us this house. We have to leave and come back? No, it's still marked as red. Oh well. It doesn't have a system like Fallout. A morality system, so it's fine. The Hall of Justice, correct. Okay. Thick. Head that way then. Um, before we do that, though, I'm going to stop at my favorite pawnbroker over here. See if we can't offload one or two more things to him. You talk too much. I wish I could remember where. We recently found somebody that was a trainer and a shop. I can't remember who the hell that was for the for the life of me, though. Um, how much would you give me for one of these? A lot, because we're good friends. Um, you're not gonna have anything I wanna buy. Shoot, that kinda makes things hard. Well, I'll sell you the message to dig it, to dig words. I'll sell you the message to Dagoth Ur. I drop these keys off just to clear up my inventory. Well, oh, whatever. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what? I'll just. Can I just donate this stuff to you? There you go. It's yours. Just hold on to it for me. <laughs> Out of my inventory. That's all I really cared about. I could stop at the other shops, but honestly, I don't think they're going to be much better in terms of. Uh, Having Chocobo enough gold just to buy my stuff. Hydrate. To Vivek, my least favorite part of the game. The more time I spend in it, the better it gets, but it's still, it's a rough place. It really is. It's Make just big and sprawling and confusing. 
Speaking of all that, though, zoom in a little bit so I can at least get the better map. We're going... I think it's in the temple area. Hall of Justices, I think. From what little memory I have. Also, while we're in the area, we should probably keep our eye out for a shopkeep. I would imagine... If we were going to find one with a lot of money, this would be the area for it. Potentially one that does uh, training and bartering as well. Waste works. Go up higher. I think there was a... Uh, Stop keeping this one. The foreign quarters. Need to play Oblivion again? I'm excited to play Oblivion. I've played a tiny bit of it before, but very little. I'm also excited to finally finish Skyrim. While I've played hundreds of hours of Skyrim, I've never I've never beaten it, so <laughs> also excited to do that one of these days. What do you want? Smith. Probably won't buy much, will you? And you only have 400 gold. People of Avec may not be... Words do you have that scared me. I'm going to quick save just in case it crashes. Uh, people of Avec may not be as Can rich as I had hoped. Do you need something? Not a shop. What are you? Words do you oh, you're the fighter's guild. I could get more so if you could jobs from them probably, but... Guy, so if you could hurry this up. Fuck all that. Guild. Another smith? So what do you want? Competition? I see paying customers, especially with all the competition these days. Oh, there's plenty these days in Vivek. I mean, Raylan Tilver is my nearest competitor, and he's just a block away. And oh, the business he does. I'm certain he's doing something shady, but I don't know what it is yet. He must... He just gets all the big orders. Well, what kind of big orders? <laughs> just recently, I heard that he got an order for 20 different swords and at least 8 full suits armor. I don't sell that in a month. I'd really like to get that contract for myself. I don't really want to get in the middle of it, to be honest with you. Chocolate peanut butter cluster smells so good. I'm glad. I hope they end up being delicious, love. I don't think we're going to buy anything from you. You have a lot of gold on you, though. Will you buy amulets? No. Damn it. Who am I going to pawn these amulets off on? We'll find somebody. It's fine. Well, not here, though. Bring a slow fall, please. Amulet. I don't know why I constantly think it's a ring. It's also weird that just using enchanted things gives us... Oh, God. We're gonna... End up falling to our death. Why did I do this? This was a terrible idea. I make it over here? Oh, let's go. Okay. Rider and Waste Works, no. Now you're playing a game, but look at the new trending on Steam. Wait, what? What's the new slash trending on Steam? New on Steam. Not for broadcast. I mean, they're all DLC. New top sellers, recommended new releases. Oh, wait, popular new releases? <laughs> is that what you're talking about? Is it, is it the, the Pimp Life Sex Simulator? <laughs> is, that, is that the one you wanted to point out? That's, that's popping up for me right at the top of uh, popular new releases. Actual fucking porn. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Bruh, it literally is, too. <laughs> I just scrolled through some of the uh, the pictures. Like, the, the screenshots there. Nice. It's the number one new release, man. Honestly, if it had just come out a little sooner, game of the year. I'm telling you. 10 out of 10 game. Now, oh, shit, we fell. 
Bro, come on, get up. Please get up. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> That's fantastic. Just bot keep talking. <laughs> I know. I, I know. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> keep talking. Nobody explodes. Um, or explodes. But like, the way you said it makes it sound like you were saying you just bought the Pimp Life Sex Simulator. And I'm a little concerned why you want me to keep talking. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing over there. It uh, it worries me. That's all I'm saying. Faction mem Wait. What faction is this? Is it the Thieves Guild? Uh, whatever. Do you guys have shops in here? That's all I really care about. I need to buy Keep Talking myself. Hopefully I remember. Actually, Moving you know what? I'm not going to buy it right this second. But I am going to put it in my cart. So hopefully I remember to do it after the stream. Maybe if Steam ever wants to fucking load. You're back and you're not sure what I came back to? Uh, A literal sex simulator is the top selling new game on Steam. And, uh, Chocobo said, just bought Keep Talking, and I'm a little scared. Also, apparently I already own Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, so I don't, I don't need to buy it. I have too many games, man. I know it's a serious first world problem, but I literally can't keep track of how many I have. So. Bro, what is this? It's it's a literal fucking it's a pimp game. You ever wanted to be a pimp? Now's your chance. Oh fuck. <laughs> Bro, why did why did I do this to myself? I I pressed fucking R instead of God damn it, what was the name of the potion that lets me fly again? I think I have one, don't I? Intelligence agility. Light, fire shield, magic, health. Bro, please, please tell me I have another one. I don't have to run all the way around, or swim all the way around, rather. Fuck, I don't have one, do I? Ah, oh, I do. Quality rising force. Let's go, okay. Drink that, and then just fucking climb out of here. Rising force, thank you. These titles are wild. I didn't even look. Once I saw that first one, I just kind of stopped looking at that point. Um, It'll be easier if I just have you take me to the temple, honestly. Yeah, I don't even remember buying Keep Talking Nobody Exclusive. Although, I, um, I'm i subscribed to Humble Bundle. Uh, so, it's possible I just got it as part of the bundle at some point. Which, by the way, Chocobo, if you're not subscribed, or anybody, honestly, if you uh, are a PC gamer and you're not subscribed to Humble Bundle, I highly suggest it. Um, full disclosure, I do have a link that I do make money off of, but you don't have to use it. I just think it's a great deal in general. That's where a large chunk of my games have come from. And while not always... Great games, a lot of time, great games. Usually like one or two, you know, well-known games and then a few more like indie slash hidden gems. Late Christmas present, because it comes out in January, Magic Pussy Trip, what the fuck, dude? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Anyways, uh, maybe, maybe early birthday present for you, my guy. Or my birthday's in January. I'm just, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I don't, I'm good. Never been a big fan of the uh, the porn games. Although I say that, I've never played one, and I just don't really plan on it anytime soon. Um, ba -bum -ba -bum. Okay, so this is the other one. Where is... Aha, you. Miramilo. I think I'm in the wrong place. Might have to head to Steam. Oh no, see what you guys started? <laughs> oh shit. And I do, admittedly, I have one not safe for work game wishlisted on Steam. 
I don't remember what it's called, but I do have one. The reviews for it were glowing and not glowing as in like, oh God, the sex is so cool. They were glowing as in like, hey, it's actually a really fun game with an interesting story and you get a fuck hot girls. So like, you know, best of both worlds, I guess. I don't remember. I just remember it was set in a university. That's the only thing I remember about it. Um, I mean, you could check. My wish list might be public. I don't remember. You could check. I might have played it, not even gonna lie. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Milfy City, final... My God. Somebody's down bad. You need to get yourself a girl, man. Temple Priestess who works in the libraries at the hall. Okay. Oh! I vaguely remember talking to her before. Being a dick, it's probably that one. Wait, what? I don't think it's called being a dick. I think it's called like something you because it's set in a university. Wait, that's where we just were. But I don't actually remember. Where is library? All of wisdom? It would make sense for a library. I feign? Nope. Being a dick is actually good writing. Multiple choice storyline with different endings. That's more or less what people were saying about this game. It's just like writing's actually good, an interesting storyline. Um, and then yeah, you get a you get all the normal not safe for work stuff as a as a bonus. Well, he did say something about like going to her room as well if we don't if she can't talk. I don't know where her room is off the top of my head though. I thought she was like chilling around here somewhere. Wealth beyond measure. Last time we talked to her. Do I over here? And in quarters, offices. Hmm. Occasional hardcore sex okay. tossed in. Why not, man? That's what every game needs, right? Okay, you know what? Local map. Ah, oh, Underworks. A library. Is there any, like... Ooh. Was it Milo? Yeah, okay. I already forget where that was. This one. Forget what the code word was, but hopefully we can figure that out. Outlander. What do you want? Uh, next level. Go up this does. Oh, bro, it's this door right here. Okay, we've seen this door, like, multiple times. Amaya, thank you so much, man. What do you prefer to go by? <laughs> Maybe the worst name on Twitch. <laughs> I, I can say that if that's what you prefer, but... <laughs> Just whatever? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. And was it under... Where was it? Aha! No to Amaya there. Okay. Do you have any stuff while I'm, like, in here creeping around your room? Ooh, more Rising Force potions. That's actually very handy. Or gold, but whatever. Gold is gold. Also, free bed, which is nice. Uh, I don't think we really need to worry about taking, like, the cheap stuff anymore. We have enough money. No to Amaya. Wait, hold on. What? You can fuck your bears in Baldur's Gate 3. I can fuck my college girls and being a dick. Gotcha. Bruh. <laughs> I've never fucked a bear in Baldur's Gate 3. We haven't played that game yet. Peanut butter chocolate is probably your new fave. I'm not a huge fan of peanut butter, but I will try them. I hope they're good. Sorry I missed you. I had to run some old documents over to the Inquisitor at the Ministry of Truth, and I'm likely to be tied up there for a while. Why don't you meet me there as soon as you can? Then we can leave together as soon as I'm done. And Amaya, don't forget to bring me the two Divine Intervention scrolls you borrowed. Or, if you use them, buy a couple of new ones for me. I think I'm going to need them soon. Janand Malini at the Mage's Guild in the Foreign Quarter keeps them in stock. I should have a couple of those, so that's fine. 
Avila Sarum is the guard at the entrance. Just tell her you're looking for me and she'll let you in. Your faithful friend, Mayra. P.S. I left a couple of levitate potions here for you just in case. I couldn't remember if you knew the spell or not, so I drew a couple from stock. Oh, so they were actually for us. That was nice of her. Um, over to the Inquisitor at the Ministry of Truth. Why don't you meet me there? Okay. We need to go to the... You know what? Take. In case I forget, but... Ministry of Truth. There a way from here to there. Doesn't look like it. I can't remember how everything's connected exactly. I think we need to go back down. Not yet. Wink. 100% banging the bear if you don't. I mean, if we get the chance to, we do have to do it just because I'm honestly curious. Like how how they decided to play that out, you know? this underworks need the note again already this is why i took it my memory's terrible visitor at the ministry of truth is it stop Alice. I mean, since she gave me the levitate potions, is it just up there? Uh, uh, just in case, so I don't waste. Well, I mean, I guess I have an extra anyways. Up we go. No. Please make it. We should be fine. Oh god, yeah. Okay, we're good. Is it you? Outlander. You. What do you want? You're not here to visit anyone, are you? I am actually. Mayra said you would come. I shall say you subdued me with magic and stole my key. It opens all three exterior doors. The upper back door is best. You'll need other cores for other doors inside. Other cores, other keys. Search for the keys in desks. No one carries keys while on duty. Mara is in the prison keep in the cell on the far right. Mara said you'd bring skulls to get out. Okay. So search for keys in desks. No one carries keys while on duty. And the upper back door is best. Some of us are sympathetic to the descendant priests, but kill an ordinator and you'll lose that sympathy. You've got rank in the temple. Maybe you can bluff your way through. Here's the key to the entrance. Now get going. Okay. So we want to, I guess, go in this one, the upper back. And then if we can, we want to bullshit our way through. But definitely don't kill anyone. This is not what I expected. This is like an actual dungeon-like thing. Chocobo enthusiast just redeemed hydrate. Like a record that's not at the right speed? I don't know, that sounds fine to me. I haven't noticed it doing anything weird, like speeding up or getting too slow or whatever. Off and on? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't noticed anything, but... Prison keep. That's probably where we want to go, right? Just the prison keep? Oh. Don't mind me. Is it this door? Oh God. Uh, a worn cavern door. Nope. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep running. I probably should have used some of like the stealth stuff that we have. We do have some stealth gear. Hello. Uh, wait, no, not intruder. Uh, okay. Well, he didn't want to talk. Cavern door. Oh. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm lost as hell. Um, is this going up too high? I feel like we have to go through this door. Um, 
I can't use tower key again. God damn it. Guess we have to just lockpick and hope for the best. Not. Crap. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Let me through. Let me through, please. Oh my god. Um, look, I know technically we have that rule that we don't heal in the middle of fights, but like, bruh, I can't fight these guys, so. It's unlocked. Let me through. Please, game. Oh my god. Hello. Are you friendly? No, no, you're not. Okay, I should have known. Just a regular cavern door to the temple. Oh, oh, hi. Um, <laughs> don't mind me. That's the way that she was telling us not to go in, or that would be worse to go in. Uh, okay. So, fuck. We have some stuff here. Sneak. What's better, sneak or chameleon? Lasts such a short time, though. Honestly, I'm just gonna use the thief ring, and I'm just gonna try to like run my way through and hope for the best. Let's go left this time. Hello, don't mind me. You see nothing? Prison keep. Okay. We found the right door. I think. Oh my god, you guys found me quick. Pathfinded to me quick. Okay. Success? Oh! My god, there's a lot of people in here. Um, are we actually supposed to do this without killing anyone? I mean, I guess it's possible. Which cell? Oh god, hold on. Journal? Did she say? Uh, need keys for other doors inside. Look for them in the desk. She said there's sympathy for them among the ordinators if anyone gets killed. Um, was it this one? Please, please. Is it you? You've got my no. ear. Let's hear it. Hi. Um, I'm here for some sort of blasphemy or something. Did it all right. Guild say, sir. Guild says, serve your time and keep your yap shut. So I'm in being a good boy and staying quiet. What kind of blasphemy? Nothing really. Just regular barrack talk. But there was a lady present, and this writer and lord got up on his hind legs and was gonna slip me like a sturgeon. Better this way. Damn sight better. Uh, what do you do for a living? <laughs> You're a warrior, okay. Well, it's nice to meet you, sir. Um, don't mind me. I think I'm just gonna eat some food in here while we have a, a second. And then, um, maybe down one of these potions that we have here. And, oh, damn, it's locked again. Bro, imagine if we just got, like, permanently stuck in here because all our locks pick broke. Because for some god forsaken reason i can't lock pick this thing okay uh, where's his ring because his ring uh Caius's ring had yeah fortify security bro come on it's a level 15 it's not even that high of a level Hi! <laughs> Don't mind me! Sorry, Please get out of my way. Please get out of my way. Oh my god. Lockpick failed. Lockpick failed. Lockpick success! Bro, that was so close. Hello! <laughs> there she is. Um... You know what? Screw it. Yeah, use, a, use another health potion. And put our fist down, maybe. Hi! Yeah, I do have the scrolls, but before that, can you tell me anything else about the Lost Prophecies? Can't talk now, but in the Apographa, the hidden teachings of the temple, there are several extensive references to lost prophecies. Prophecies no longer current among the Auslanders, but recorded by earlier temple pilgrims and scholars. I think you'll find what you're looking for in the library of Holomayan. 
Alamiron is a secret monastery of the descendant priests. The monastery itself is beneath the surface of a remote island along Azura's coast, with only a single entrance hidden from view by hills and vegetation. The monastery is further protected by a magical shield, which opens only at dawn and dusk. The magical twilight hour is sacred to Azura. Hmm. Caius. Caius has gone back to the Imperial City. He says he's been recalled. I wonder. Never know what he's thinking. I think he's involved in something secret. Something dangerous. I was hoping he might help us. Now he's gone, I don't know what to think. Hmm. Hopefully he's not, like, secretly against us or something. But then, nah, because he's been helping us a lot. I don't think so. Alright, well, yeah, I have the scrolls. I need one divine inter intervention scroll for myself, for my escape plan. Getting out will be a lot faster and safer for you if you have one. But if you haven't got one for yourself, maybe you can find some other way out. Now listen, here's my plan. Give me a divine intervention scroll. I'll meet you at the secret descendant priest monastery in Holomayan. For safety, we'll travel separately. Okay. Um, when you get out of here, look for a woman named Blada Hateria on the east docks of Evanhart. Tell her I sent you and that you want to go fishing. She'll bring you to Holomayan by boat. I'll meet you there and we'll get the lost prophecies from Gilvis Borello, the leader of the Descendant Priest. And magic conceals the Holomayan entrance. Speak to Vivrana Arian, a monk at the dock at Holomayan about the hidden entrance. Okay, so Evanhart East Dock, go fishing. And then find Vivrana Aryan. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Fine. We got this. Evanhart. Fishing. Monk with weird name. That I'm never gonna remember. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna just like use the scroll in front of me? Okay, well. That's fine. I'll use mine. Oh, dude, that takes us straight to Evanhart, too. Sick. Uh, okay, we need to go to docks. Should be. I mean, should be down here somewhere. I had an easier way down. I mean, technically, I do. Ring a slow fall. Amulet a slow fall. How many times am I going to make that mistake? Do, do, do. Okay. Does it sound better now, the music? For you, Optijack? I never personally had any problems with it, like on my end. But I don't know. Twitch is being a little screwy tonight. I've had it disconnect a couple of times. So I guess it's also possible it's just Twitch related in some way. Oh, really? I can't. Okay, that's fine. I'll just go around. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Excuse me, game. Fine right now? Okay. Well, that's good, I guess. I don't know. I think it was I can do for you. Eastern side, right? The big ship, little ship? Anytime you're ready. Just Watch don't this keep me waiting. No, you don't sound right. Go ahead. You maybe. I would like to go fishing. Huh. You don't give that option. Maybe it wasn't you then. I don't think it was you. Stay out of trouble and you won't get Definitely what the fuck? You know what? I don't even want to talk to you. It's fine. Uh this side. Was it you? Let's hear it. Bad name sounds right. Yeah. Go fishing. I know a fine place. Excellent fishing. My friend Mary Milo says it's her favorite fishing spot. You ready to go? Yes. I'm ready to take you to Holomayan at any time you're ready to travel, and I'll be here to offer that service anytime you need it. You. So I can just. Do I just say go fishing again? No? So just Azura's Coast region then? Oh, and dude, you're right here, the monk. Speak quickly, That's Outlander, perfect. Where away. are we, like, world wise? Okay. 
we're still like on the main island. Not that bad. All right. Um, I'm Vivrana Arian, a monk of Halamayan. The monastery is here on this island. Take the stone pathway north from the docks and the path uphill. The entrance is hidden by a magical shield. Wait or rest at the head of the path, and the portal will open at dusk and dawn only. The magical twilight hour is sacred to Azura. Mary Milo has told us that you're coming. You can find her in the library with Maester, or Maester, Master Barilo. Later, I can arrange... Words are fine. Later, I can arrange... Did I say fine? Words are hard. Later, I can arrange for your return to Vivek whenever you are ready. Uh, yeah. Secret monastery, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so just follow the path of the stone steps up the hill and then rest. That sounds easy enough. I can do that. This is like the precursor to the climb of the, the throat of the world in Skyrim, man. Just a lot less steps. Oh, it's a rat. I'm like, bro, what is attacking me? I thought this place was safe. Not safe from rats and diseased rats at that. Not that we have to worry about that any longer. We just happened to get here okay. at a time that was like, uh, sure, fill the flask. Uh, head of our secret order. Tell me about the secret order. We have adopted the name descendant priest. We're not ashamed of our disputes with the temple hierarchy. Bro, yeah, we just got like lucky as fuck and came here at the right time, didn't we? Ooh. Quality restore health. Don't mind if I do. Standard restore health. Again, appreciate you. Yes, yes, you did. That's perfect. Thank God, man. That makes my life a lot easier. Trying of St. Nerevar? Yeah, sure. Let's get your blessing. What does it do? Oh, I'm also hungry and thirsty. Fortify fatigue. Oh, sick. Actually pretty good. Uh, eat some marshmallow, sh marshmallow shoot, and drink some water. So we are looking for a library then. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. My time Not is you. precious, so make it quick. Oh my God! Please, please excuse me. Speak, traveler. No. I don't think it's you. No. There's a lot of people here. Uh, Back to this place to be a little more empty. Bring, you know, secret order and all you. that. What do you, want? you have a name. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. Yes. Here they are. This Thank you, Stream the Barbarian. We need for rescuing me. Now I'll stay here at Holomayan with Master Barlow and assist him with the monastery's library. Uh, divine intervention scrolls? <laughs> Of course, normally I only use Alm Civi intervention scrolls, but for my escape from the Ministry of Truth, the Divine Intervention Scroll was just what I needed. Well, you're welcome. Gotta go. Have a good night, Chocobo. I'm assuming you're at work, but either way, have fun. Um, okay, tell me more of the Descendant priests, priest now, if you would. We are fiercely loyal to the Temple's ancient traditions, but we are troubled that the ultimate source of the Tribunal's divinity might be the same as the source of Dagoth Ur's evil power. Dagoth Ur's powers seem to wax at the Tribunal's power wanes. Read the Pro Progress of Truth and other documents of the Apographa in our library and you'll see why we are uneasy. Okay, so read books, specifically Progress of Truth. I would like to talk to you first, though. Um, tell me of the Sixth House. This is a new threat, not yet widely recognized as another face of the devil Dagoth Ur, but it's clearly a sign of a coming crisis, and the temple may no longer be able to protect Morwen. In such troubled times, the Dumber may turn to the ancient pillars of faith, the ancestors and the Daedra, and especially to the prophetic visions granted by Lord Azura. Then they may look to the Nerevarine, Saint Nerevar reborn, to lead them against the grim armies of Dagoth Ur. And the Nerevarine? Our interest in the Nerevarine used to be a matter of principle, a willingness to consider the validity of of mystical insights rejected by temple doctrine. 
Now, Dagoth Ur grows stronger while the Tribunal grows weaker, and the return of St. Nerevar, even if only reborn in spirit, may be our best prospect of salvation. And the Nerevar? Um, by the way, here are a few books from our library you might find of interest. Each gives a different impression of Nerevar. St. Nerevar, Nerevar, Moon and Star, the real Nerevar. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to read those, to be honest with you, my guy. But, thank you. Dagoth Ur. So as long as the Ordinators, Buoyant Armagers, and the Tribunal could contain the Blight and the Dagoth Ur's creatures within the Ghost Fence, faith in the Temple Protective Powers was strong. But now travelers and settlements suffer from Blight Storms and marauding monsters, and the people fear the Temple is losing its ages-old battle with the Devil Dagoth Ur. So then you priests come in, and a significant part of the temple hierarchy might be more inclined to accept and tolerate differences of opinions and dogma, but other parts of the temple, in particular the ordinators under Burel Salah, claim that the threat from Red Mountain and Dagoth Ur can only be resisted with a unified, resolute faith. The people are afraid, so they support the hard line, but if we can show ourselves able to confront Dagoth Ur more effectively than the ordinators, the temple and the people will support us. See, this is very political. I don't know if I want to get in the middle of all of it. Just tell me where to go so I can kill dudes. That's that's what I'm here for. I've reviewed the Apographa and have found two passages of particular interest. We've made copies of these passages to give you. Many are familiar with the two Nerevarine prophecies current among the Ashenlanders called the Stranger and the Seven Visions. We have two other prophecies, the Lost Prophecy and the Seven Curses, that may offer additional insight into the riddles surrounding the coming of the Incarnate. Perhaps these are the Lost Prophecies that your friend, Nabani Mesa, told you about. Hmm. We have also prepared a document for you called Kagranak's Tools. So this document will explain to you and to others the terrible secret that the Temple conceals about the true history of the Tribunal and the corrupt nature of their divine powers. It is to conceal the secret that the Temple persecutes the Nerevarine and the Descendant Priests. This persecution must stop. We must be united against the true enemy, Dagoth Ur. And if you are the Nerevarine, you must lead us against them. Okay, tell me more about the Apographa. The Hierographa are the collected priestly writings of the temple. The Apographa are the hidden writings, secrets known only at the highest levels of priesthood and inquisition. To find the temple, we have gathered as much of the Apographa as we can here in Halamayan. One of the chief disputes between the temple and the descendant priests is that the temple hides the truth from its followers. And... I don't think you have anything else to say about the Lost Prophecies. No. The Lost Prophecy itself, though, from 7th sign of 11th generation, neither Hound nor Guar nor Seed nor Harrow, but Dragonborn and Farstar marked, Outlander incarnate beneath Red Mountain. But Dragonborn and Far... Is, does that somehow link to Skyrim? Anyways, Blessed Guest counters 7 curses. Star Blessed Hand wields Thrice Cursed Blade, reap the harvest of the unmourned house. I've annotated your copy of the Lost Prophecy with our best efforts at interpretation, but a rough summary might be an outlander, foreign born but welcomed as a guest, confronts seven curses beneath Red Mountain. His hand, blessed by Azura, uses a cursed blade to bring justice to House Dagoth, or House Dwemer, or both. A Nerevarine, an outlander, that wouldn't please many Ashlanders, and may explain how the prophecy got lost. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> the Ashlanders aren't a huge fan of Outlanders, so that makes a lot of sense, honestly, that they would just be like, you know what, maybe we just kind of forget this one exists here. So tell me more about the Seven Curses. Uh, it reads as follows. Through the doors of the unwarned house where the scoffers scoff and schemers scheme, from the halls of the oath-breaking house ring seven curses of gods blasph blasphemed, First curse, curse of fire. Second curse, curse of ash. Third curse, curse of flesh. Fourth curse, curse of ghost. Fifth curse, curse of seed. Sixth curse, curse of despair. Seventh curse, curse of dreams. Okay, well, I think all of those have already kind of happened, right? Because, like, the mountain, red mountain blowing would be like fire, then the ash that fell, and then you have the corpus disease. Curse of ghosts and seed. The ghosts, I don't really know necessarily but curse of seeds don't they have trouble growing shit here everybody's in despair right <laughs> and now the dreamers are waking up so maybe that's like that copy of the seven curses bears our guesses at interpreting the verses in short form seven curses come from house dagoth or house dormer or both fire and ash come from red mountain flesh is corpus ghost seed and despair are unclear but curse of dreams seem to refer to the recent case of soul sickness and sleeper attacks in the towns yeah so more or less what i was thinking Okay. 
Um. And stay home with my spare low and assist him. But what do we do now? Uh, okay. This. I mean, other than the fact that we kind of just need to go to Red Mountain, I'm a little lost. Not gonna lie. Pilgrim's Path. I guess we can check those notes that he gave us, because he did say it's annotated. Maybe it can give us, like, better clues. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Appreciate you. Erevar. Lost Prophecy. Um, okay, notes. Lines one to three of ancient family, but not of the four. Born under foreign stars in the sun, an imperial sign. Here's as a formal... Oh my god, this is, like, properly annotated. The Deja Lord and patron of magic, fate, and prophecy. Thrice Cursed Blade may refer to a weapon called Keening, associated in certain legends with the Battle of Red Mountain and Dwemer Craft Lord Agranak. Reap the Harvest is a reference to the proverb, you harvest from the seeds you plant, which means you get what your labors deserves, and both a positive sense of reward and negative sense of punishment. The Unworn House could be either both the Lost Great Houses of the Dumber or House Dwemer and House Dagoth. Didn't that, that Dwemer that we met down there, he spoke of Kag Renak or whatever his name was, didn't he? I wonder if we go and talk to him again, if he'd be able to help us in some way. 600 bits to your next badge? Hell yeah. You'll be there in no time, love. Uh, notes. The U.S. may refer to the MP empathy. <laughs> Impiety, the cod mocking house Dwemer, or the treacherous diplomacy of the subtle house Dagoth, or both. House Dagoth, however, was reviled as oath breaking for its treachery at Red Mountain. They, however, refer to an unspecified broken oath of peace between Lord Nerevar and Lord Dumak, founders of the Grand Council. Nerevar and Dumak were loyal friends until the disagreements between the Dwemer and the other great houses broke it out in open conflict. Dwemer were the mockers and profaners of the divine. Curse of fire and ash would come from Red Mountain, where Dagoth were rules. Were the earliest reported threats from Red Mountain. There's a flesh suggests blight disease, especially Corpus. The fire and ash storm preceded the threats of blight and Corpus. Uh, lines 8 to 10 are obscure. Lines 11. Recent reports of soul sickness and disturbed dreams come from townsfolk and Ashlanders alike. Yeah. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's the shopkeep. Um, what is attacking me as I slept in my bed? I feel like I just need to go beyond the ghost fence and just kind of explore that area almost. Hmm. <laughs> well, it is 3.15, so I feel like it's probably a pretty good place to call it for tonight. And, uh, yeah, maybe by next week I can figure out a little bit more about what we're going to do. I don't want to spoil myself for anything, but a little bit of direction at least. Uh, but yeah, until then, guys, thank you all for coming out. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Maybe the worst name on Twitch for, for the follow and hanging out with us tonight. Um, if you're just interested in Morrowind or games like it, I play those every Sunday night, uh, as long as, you know, schedule permitting. And uh, the rest of the time, I play PS2 games or, like, Baldur's Gate and shit with OptiJack uh, once a week. So, hope to see you guys there. I'll be back Tuesday night with uh, something on the PS2. Or John and I might be doing a Christmas special for the podcast Tuesday night. I don't know. I'm a little confused. I messaged him back. I don't think he messaged me back, though, so I'm not sure what's going on. We'll figure it out. It'll be fine. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. I appreciate you all again, and as always, be kind to each other. Bye! Excluding games like Final Fantasy, you know, where they're all completely separate from each other, I really like to play games in order. So, <laughs> so I've done one, I've done two, I've done three... I plan on going back to zero at some point.